Yo, what's up, my CG gang? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be making Lotus Smash Seafood Potatoes. That's why y'all heard me. These things are going to be delicious, so enough of the talking. Let's get to the ingredients. First thing you're going to need are your potatoes, some bacon. I got some um, crab meat right here, imitation crab meat. For the season, chicken, bouillon, rosemary, some Kobe Jack cheese, olive oil, and some thyme. Okay, guys, I'm back. We got nine beautiful potatoes, so I already wash them and clean them. And it's not, it's not promotion or nothing. I use this to clean all my fruits and veggies. Triple action wash, um, fruit and veggie wash to take all those bad germs and everything off your veggies and fruits. So use it, got it from Amazon. Okay, so let's put the potatoes in this pot. Now you're gonna add your water. And we're gonna fill this pot up until your potatoes are covered. Just like that. Can y'all see it? Yep. Come up just like that. Now add some flavor to these um lotus smash seafood potatoes. Add a little bit of chicken bouillon season to your water they're going to take these smashed potatoes to another level guys i promise y'all and we're going to cook these so they get nice and soft okay ladies and gents i got five strips of bacon right here um you don't have to use bacon for the recipe i'm doing it i'm being extra but i love bacon so if you don't like bacon you don't mess with the pork <laughs> you can use turkey bacon or just use your own your crab meat and your bacon should look something like like this there you go your bacon should look just like this not too crispy not too chewy you want something right in the middle so you can chop it up nice and fine depending on top of these um loaded seafood smashed potatoes so i'm gonna put this to the side and we're gonna start making this sauce Okay, CG gang, I'm back. Forgot three ingredients to add earlier. So we got some Obey season. We won't be seafood loaded smashed potatoes without that. The onion powder and garlic powder also. Along with the rosemary, the thyme, and the olive oil. So let's get to making this on. This sauce. Oops. For us to get to a bowl, we're going to add some olive oil. Go ahead, throw your thyme up in there. Get a shake hard. They ain't working out. Take the top off. There you go. Next, some garlic powder. The onion powder. Gonna make this taste good. Get your rosemary. And not a lot, old bay. Just enough so you can taste it. You don't have to put that in there if you don't want to. That's it. Go ahead and just mix everything up together. And we're going to put these on top of the seafood loaded smashed potatoes when they're done. So the potatoes are almost done, so I'll be back soon. Yo, my mind is all over the place. And a little bit of this um, chicken bouillon. And there you go. Now I'll give it another mix. Look at that. We're going to put these on top of those potatoes when they're done. So, like I said, I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, CG gang. I'm back. The potatoes are done. So let's get to smashing them. You know, just take your hand like this. Smash them down. Real soft. Now they bought me the wrong potatoes. I thought they had some about this size, and I wasn't paying attention when they substituted. But that's why sometimes you gotta go to the store for yourself. Smash them like this. See how nice and soft they got. Ouch! <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> Just like that. Just use your hand. 
They all not super duper hot. But they still gonna be good. Don't worry about the stuff coming out. Not gonna happen. Just move this piece. Add it. Just like that. That's all you gotta do. Smash them up. Just like this. Smash one more. These are the perfect size you want for real. The tiny ones. But I want to work with what I got. Yeah. Whew. And let me smash you last two. And then I'll be back. We're going to top them. Now, there you go. I know they don't look like much, but. Don't judge a book by its cover. Next thing we're going to do is get our saws. Just like this. Put the saws on top. Just like that. Sorry for knocking the camera. You can spread it out. Next. You gonna take the cheese. And let's put all the oil on this. They gonna use this whole bag, cause why not? I feel like going to the bathroom tonight. <laughs> Boo y'all. That's the side. Next, you get some bacon. Make sure you distribute that bacon really well. All over the um, seafood smashed potatoes, loaded smashed potatoes. And that's my oven. So, also, you want to set your oven to 400. And we're going to throw these in after I put, put, in, put on the crab meat. Make sure you got bacon everywhere. Next. <laughs> That's my brother. Sorry about that noise. Oops. Take the crab meat. Right there. Just like that. And there you have it. Your um, seafood loaded smashed potatoes. We're going to throw these in the oven at 400 for about 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, once all the cheese melt, they be done. So I'll be back. Okay, CG gang, I'm back and it's finished. Now we're going to add some parsley flakes on here to make them look even better. And that's it. That's the video. That's how you make loaded smash seafood potatoes. If you like this video, don't forget to like my channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to leave a comment and share. And I, and I want everybody. Oh yeah, also hit that sub button for your boy. And don't also don't forget to hit that notification bell if y'all want to know when the cooking guy has a new video up. So until next time. We out of here. Let's do that money shot. That cheese. Let's see if we get a nice cheese pool here. Oh, it's a little hard a little bit, but that's okay. Smash potatoes. Seafood smash potatoes.